Join me as I dive into the world of Bedroom DS and challenge myself to master 5 essential terms you absolutely need to know. When it comes to exploring Bedroom DS dynamics, understanding key terms is essential for getting the most out of this lifestyle. Whether you're just starting to dip your toes into the world of dominance and submission or you're looking to deepen your existing relationship, having a solid grasp of the language can make all the difference. One of the biggest hurdles people face when entering the world of DS is misconception. We've all seen those sensationalized depictions of BDSM in the media, and it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. But the truth is, real-life DS relationships are built on trust, communication, and mutual respect. Without a clear understanding of the terms and concepts, it's easy to get lost in the weeds. Misconceptions can lead to misunderstandings, and misunderstandings can lead to hurt feelings, resentment, and even downright danger. Another major misconception is that DS is all about sex. While sex can certainly be a part of a DS relationship, it's not the only component, and it's not even the most important one. At its core, DS is about connection, intimacy, and power exchange. It's about learning to communicate your needs and desires, and finding a partner who is willing to work with you to create a dynamic that works for both of you. And then, of course, there's the issue of territorialism. Some people within the DS community can be pretty protective of their own little circle, and it's not uncommon for newcomers to feel like they're not in the know or that they don't belong. But the truth is, everyone starts somewhere, and everyone has something to learn. By educating ourselves and being open to new experiences and perspectives, we can build a stronger, more inclusive community. So, with all that in mind, let's dive into the 5 essential terms you need to know for exploring bedroom DS. First up, we have subspace. Subspace refers to a state of deep relaxation and trust that a submissive can enter during a scene. It's characterized by a feeling of floating, or being outside of one's body, and is often accompanied by a sense of euphoria. For many submissives, subspace is the ultimate goal, and it's what makes the experience of submitting so rewarding. Next, we have aftercare. Aftercare refers to the process of taking care of oneself and one's partner after a scene. This can involve physical care, such as checking for injuries or providing water and snacks, as well as emotional care, such as checking in and providing reassurance. Aftercare is crucial for maintaining a healthy and happy DS dynamic, as it helps to build trust and reinforce the bond between partners. Third on our list is limits. Limits refer to the boundaries that an individual sets around their own desires and comfort levels. For example, a person might have a hard limit against being touched in a certain way, or they might have a soft limit around a particular activity. Knowing and respecting one's own limits is essential for maintaining a healthy and consensual DS dynamic. Fourth, we have protocol. Protocol refers to the set of rules or guidelines that govern a DS relationship. This can include things like how to address one another, how to handle conflicts, and what kinds of activities are and are not allowed. Having a clear protocol in place can help to reduce misunderstandings and build trust between partners. Last but not least, we have safe word. A safe word is a word or phrase that a submissive can use to stop a scene at any time. This is usually a word that is not commonly used in everyday conversation, such as pineapple or red, and it's used to signal to the dominant that the submissive needs to stop or slow down. Having a safe word in place is essential for maintaining a safe and consensual DS dynamic. One of the most impactful things I've learned on my own journey into bedroom DS is the importance of communication. It seems obvious, but it's amazing how often we assume that our partners know what we want or need, rather than taking the time to actually ask. By taking the time to communicate our desires and boundaries, we can build a deeper, more intimate connection with our partners, and create a dynamic that is truly fulfilling for both of us. In fact, I remember one time when I was in a scene with a partner, and I realized that I was feeling really uncomfortable with a particular activity. I had assumed that my partner knew I didn't like it, but it turned out that they had no idea. By communicating my boundaries and limits, we were able to adjust the scene and find a way that worked for both of us. It was a powerful reminder of the importance of clear communication in DS. As I've delved deeper into the world of bedroom DS, I've come to realize just how essential these five terms are for creating a healthy and fulfilling dynamic. By understanding and respecting one another's boundaries, needs, and desires, we can build a connection that is truly unique and special. So, to recap, the five essential terms you need to know for exploring bedroom DS are subspace, aftercare, limits, protocol, and safe word. By understanding and incorporating these concepts into your own practice, you'll be well on your way to creating a dynamic that is truly fulfilling and enjoyable for both you and your partner. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of Bedroom DS.
If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to explore more topics related to DS and kink, be sure to check out my next video.